we don't have. Well, how are we gonna get coins from the casino? Maybe there's a change machine. The bum gladly oh. takes the money, looks around, and says, uh, "Joey's hitman has been looking <laughs> for you. I got the word that he's waiting in your office." <laughs> so what did the, what good did that do? I guess Joey's hitman was the guy that killed that person in the office. So. <laughs> So we gotta go back to the office, is that what he's saying? It looked funny, you got your finger on his head. <laughs> he looks like he's got something under his lip there, some water I know. or something. I don't know. <laughs> 50 cents is a small price to pay for your life. <laughs> mutters. Oh, that's you. Mutters. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, this is great. I wanna, wish you could talk more. Let's open the, see if we can open these. That might be his house. <laughs> that's empty. <laughs> I don't think he wants to do that. Oh. So there's nothing in there. Yeah, I think he thinks we're somewhere else. Whoa! Oh. You're standing on the street in front of Pete's All Night Gun Palace. Oh, yeah. That's all night. Funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want we more don't, guns, we don't baby. Use the firearms. I like firearms. Let's open <laughs> that one. Except for self defense. Darn it, none of these have any. I want to. I want to go through yeah. people's garbage. So, if you go in there, maybe the window says, guns and ammo. We already got guns and we already got ammo. <laughs> no, we don't have ammo. How'd we shoot people then? Oh yeah, I guess we do. Sorry about that. Well, let's see what's in here. Whoa, whoa! Is that a... That's a guy with a big stomach, I think. Yeah. You're inside Pete's all-night gun palace. The guy behind the counter says, Hey, you want something? Well, we gave our 20 bucks to the bum. You sound like the king on the hill guy. <laughs> we, uh... We don't have 20 bucks. Darn it. Is that king of the hill, or...? Yeah. Um... Could examine it. It's a standard military issue. German Schluger. Why do we need a... Th we don't need a third gun. <laughs> Let's go. Forget you. Oh! Oh, it's oh, that guy. There's a drunk <laughs> crossing the street. That's great. Do I talk to him again? Oh. Wrong way. Oh, wrong way. Whoa! Whoa! This is Peoria Street. A blue cab is waiting. Should we take the cab? We can talk to the guy, maybe. Hey, you got another address now. Yeah. Let's examine it driver is in the blue cab. He is waiting for passengers. Looks like he's got flat tires. But we, yeah it does. We don't have any money though. Um, should we open the door? <laughs> the door is open. It is? Yeah, well it should be if he wants passengers. <laughs> You're in the back of the cab. The hack in front seems nervous. Um, we have no money. No wonder. I mean, this is a tough neighborhood. We have, yeah, tell me about it. I'm scared to turn a corner. The driver said bluntly, Hey, mister, where you want to go? Uh, oh, hey, we could actually put in the address here. Yeah, so where do you want to go, go, Sherman? To Sherman? Where's, who's at Sherman again? That was where the doctor, wasn't it? That where we ordered the pills Yeah, from? I think so. Or where and what, did? where's Peoria again? We don't even know, right? The no. accelerates. As you arrive at your destination, he looks at the meter and says, Uh... Here ya! You owe me 75 cents. Um, we don't have... <laughs> we don't have any money. Yeah, what are we gonna do? <laughs> we don't... <laughs> um... Should I... I'm gonna hit him! No! I'm gonna hit him! He's got a hard enough life as it is. Well, what do we do? We got... Alright, you wanna run? Make a run for it? Yeah. Alright. Cabby says, with a mean look, Hey! You still owe me! I'm gonna call the police! Oh no. <laughs> Seriously, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna shoot him! No! What are we gonna do? We can't, can't shoot him. But what do we do? Go to jail again. What do we do? I'm waiting. I don't know. Oh, uh, we are screwed. Tell me don't speak English. Oh, how do you make money here? We gotta gamble. Yeah, but it didn't do anything, and we lost all of everything. Leave. 
We can't gamble without money. Uh, we might have to hit him. Why don't you just, like, take him? Successfully slug the bulletproof glass. That's not good. Alright, so he, he's got bulletproof glass here. He should. Oh! We're going to jail. <laughs> Again. This day started out badly and is getting progressively worse. I corrected the grammar. You were supposed to pay the cabbie and didn't- I didn't have money! That you're going to pay. Oh, we're gonna get- we're gonna pay because there's Bubba in the jail. A brief trial is all that's needed to convict you. I just- what? I just didn't pay? That shouldn't be a horrible crime, should it? No. Okay, we're not going in the cab. We're deca you should declare bankruptcy. We're not well, doing- Well, we're gonna definitely have to go into that cab. This is a tricky game. Yeah. We got two- Well, it would've been alright if you had money. We got two brains, but we're still stuck. Well, you know what they say. You got brains and no money, you're still not gonna go anywhere. I've never heard that. <laughs> I just made that up. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like something people would say. I honestly don't know what you're gonna do. I don't either. You think we screwed up the whole game? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize to everybody out there watching this. Um, here's what happened. We ran out of money, uh, me and Lime. And evidently, we're sort of thinking the game is impossible to beat without money. And we tried to look it up online, but we couldn't find a, a definitive answer. So if anybody out there knows for sure if there is a way to make money somehow, if you have none, please let me know because I am I would love to know that. Yeah, the, the bad news is Lime is not here, unfortunately. Oh, this again. He, he had to go to Betty Poo, so, um, he is not here. So I am doing this solo now, that's right. I'm riding solo! I'm riding solo! So it, it's all good. I've gotten all the, I had to start over, but I got all the equip, or all the items that we already had, but now I actually got money. So we're in good shape. So now I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the newspaper stand. Hey! Oh my god! Hi, how's it going, Jerry? You scared the crap out of me. I hey, just saw what, a dead what, body and now you What do you do? Are up. you playing a game without me? Uh, I thought oh, you were... Oh, you're I even playing one that that we played together before. You, you didn't tell me you are going to finish this game. It's deja vu. More ways than one. Yeah, I was, oh. I was explaining to the audience here how now I, we have money. That's good. Okay, maybe now we can buy a newspaper. Oh, it works! Oh, finally! Take the newspaper. Thanks a lot! Said the newsboy cheerfully. Was this my voice? I forget. The uh -huh. newsboy says... The cops have been roaming around the area looking for suspicious characters. They got a call from some dame who lives across the street from Joe's bar. She told them that she saw some funny goings on around there. And she gave a description that fits you. <laughs> Better watch your step. Well, he wouldn't say it like that. That last part was bad. <laughs> Examine. The headline reads, The Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor. Uh-oh. Well, I forgot. I thought it was an old newspaper. I felt they forgot this game was set in the 40s. So really this... This is the start of World War II. There's really nothing we could do with the newspaper, is there? I mean, it's not the start of World War II, but it's the start of the U.S. involvement in World War II. Oh, there's a taxi. Now we could actually pay the guy. Hey, mister, where you want to go? I want to go to Sherman. The cabbie accelerates as you arrive at your destination. He looks at the meter and says, Here you are. You owe me 75 cents. Screw you! I ain't what? paying! You better pay me. <laughs> Fine. The 
driver begins counting the fare. One, two, three quarters. Thanks a lot, pal. Alright, now we gotta get out. Whoa. You're on a street. It's really quiet around here. Alright. Too quiet. You're in the lobby of the office building. There is a hallway in front and a staircase to your left. Oh, which way should we go? Well, where do you... Well, maybe we should stay on the same floor first. What do you All think? right, so we'll go down the hallway. Okay. Oh. Dr. Boobies. Oh, Brody. <laughs> You're standing by the entrance to an office. That's the guy who uh, wrote the prescriptions earlier. I think he's a quack. He's... Don't you? Oh, no. It's locked. Yeah, I think he's a quack, don't you? I don't know, he's up to no good, probably. I mean, look, we are drugged and everything, and he supplied the drugs. He's, what is he, Elvis's doctor? He's gotta be in on the crime, somehow. I wonder if he became Elvis's doctor later Whoa! On. You're standing in front of an office. The words, Ace Harding, Private Eye, That's are me. seen on the door. We're Ace this Harding! Must, yeah, that must be our office. You see someone's shadow oh. through the glass. Oh dear It Lord. must be us. No, it couldn't be. Ah! You feel very dazed. You had better do something about it. Your memory loss is making you feel weary. You have to do something, but you don't know what to do. Oh no. What? You think, uh... Do we have any pills we can take? Uh... Not the, uh, not the mezzadine thing. That's the only... We got capsules. Can we... What do we got in those? Anything good? Anything good? <laughs> that sounds awful. There's a little medicine left in the capsule. It was obviously used for something. I don't know what to do, do you? Should we take it? You have a hunch that there's a connection between you and the capsule. I don't know. I really don't. Should I open the door? I guess so. Examine? I'm, but there's someone there. I know. And it's not us, and it's our office, so, you know, I don't think this is good. Take your gun out. There's someone inside. Get your gun ready. How do I do that? I don't know. I mean, just take it out of your pocket, you know? Listen to the music. I mean, this is going to be intense. I'm scared. Use the gun? Yeah, don't shoot through the glass. No, that'd be a bad idea. We're gonna have to open the door, you know that. Yeah, open it, open it. You've got to. I don't, I don't know. Oh. oh! It's locked. Knock on the door? Excuse me. Hit? This is my office. Uh, mm, do we have a key for the door? I don't think we do, do we? We don't have any more keys. So is this a dead end? Oh man, what are we gonna do? We're stumped. So now we gotta go back to the other place, don't we? I don't know. Do you have any idea what we need to do? No. He's gonna want more money, isn't he? He is. I mean, I don't know if we should be giving him all this money. Do you? We have to, though, don't we? I don't think we should be going back and forth. But we, there's nothing we could do at that one place. Yeah, we messed up. How many coins do we have left? Oh no, this is it. <laughs> We're out of coins now. Well, we got really far this session. <laughs> Alright. Is there something we forgot to do? I don't know. Oh! Oh. That's a bomb. <laughs> yeah, he's always trying to get money. Yeah, we gave him a 20 already. Yeah, that was a bad idea. We never did look in the glove compartment, you know that? Oh yeah, we were supposed to, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, see, look at, now there's more stuff to look at. See, we forgot to do this. No coins, though. Oh, you're kidding me? 
You know you're gonna have to start over again, right? <laughs> it's a car registration made out to Joey Siegel of 1212 West End Street. Huh. Hmm. So this is his car. Oh, we got another address added. That's good. It's a street map. The way to Joe's bar is marked in ink. The address is 1060, I think. Per peri peri per How do you say that? Peoria. Peoria Street. The writing on the map reads, Ace, follow this route. That way you'll know if you're being followed. Be careful. You don't want the cops to find Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk. Oh! <laughs> There's a body in the trunk, Jeremy. We don't have a key to the trunk. Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk? What's going on? <laughs> Look horrible. at the snapshot. <gasps> oh! It's a chubby woman. It's a snapshot of a 400 pound woman. You feel as if she... You should recognize her. <laughs> wow. Especially if she sat on you. <laughs> hey now. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, we're gonna take all this stuff. So that didn't really that didn't really help us though. Sure it did. I mean we looked at stuff. Yeah, but well we did get another address. Should we look in the trunk? We can't, we don't have a key. Oh yeah. Oh! What happened? Oh! Alright. Uh, We're gonna great. hit him! We're gonna hit him! Yeah, hit him, hit him! Boom! Socko. I will admit one thing, Lime was right. I did read if you hit the muggers, it uh, it works. Thanks for admitting that, right. Jeremy. It takes a big man to do that. You were right. A quick jab to the mugger's eye stuns him. He runs down the street shouting, <laughs> I'll be back! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I didn't think that was a voice that was going to come out there, but I really like the voices. Why He's couldn't good. we mug him and get his money? Yeah. Um, we have to find a key to open the trunk. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. But where do we go? Maybe we should go to the casino. Hey, why don't you go back to the casino and, oh, you don't have any coins. Hmm. No coins at all. We need to go in the cab again. We don't have money Let's go money. to the West End. We don't have any money. Well, we need money to go to the West End. I know. <laughs> I'm going to the police station. Now, what are you doing? I can't take it anymore. You're, you're turning yourself in. Whoa! Oh, no, you fell off. What are you... Whoops, you just fallen into <laughs> the construction. You should watch where you're going. I didn't know that was over there. Oh, he just... What? There's so many ways to die in this. Hello, everybody. Uh, we are back. Well, I shouldn't say we. It's actually just me. Well, I apologize. The lime is not here. Uh, I am determined to beat this game. Because now that I think... I've never actually played this game from start to finish and beat it. So... I'm gonna do it. Alright, I'm gonna... I need more coins, guys, so I'm gonna play some slots here and hopefully win some money. <laughs> it's like all cheerful music. Come on! I need money. Yeah, bananas! Woohoo! Yeah. How much? Whoa! Wow, you hit the jackpot! You've gotten 12 coins! Alright. Alright, I'm up to 17. I think that should be uh, enough for now. Okay, I'm gonna take these uh, medicine things here. Medicine 2. Oops. Yeah, so basically, alright guys, I, what I did, I'm, I, I have a walkthrough, so yes, I'm a big fat cheater, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? But I really want to beat this game. So, yeah, I'm cheating. The medicine vials label says, Medrazine. Okay, so I took the medicine, because we didn't do that last time. There's probably some things I didn't do before that I'm forgetting. Alright, I found the cabbie. The blue cab is waiting. 
We're going to the West End. Where are we? Oh, this is new. You're outside the entrance to the expensive looking Stanford Arms. It's a nice clean looking place. It probably wasn't built that long ago. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go in here. Whoa. The lobby looks extremely clean. The white pillars add a nice touch. Ooh, this is fancy! It's an elevator, but it appears to operate differently. What's so different about it? Let's try to open it. It won't open. What's that? It appears to be a slot for something. It looks like a slot for a card or something. Alright, well I think we did just get a key card, didn't we? Or some kind of a card. I hope. Or did we not? Oh crap. Do I not have a card? Oh wait, card right there. Use card on the on that thing. As soon as you put the card into the slot, the elevator door swoosh open. Yay! Okay, we're gonna move in the elevator. You're inside the elevator. You put the pass card in the slot. The elevator door slides shut and begins moving. You have no choice but to go along for the ride. The elevator stops and the door slides open. Oh. See, the only problem is with this little finger I have. Luckily, it's not another finger. But you have to drag it all the way down here, then to here. I wish there was a way... I thought some other games, if you press start or select or something, it would automatically drop the hand down here so you don't have to drag it all the time, but... I'm just complaining. Alright, let's see what's uh, behind this. Oh my god, is that a naked woman? Wow. You're in a penthouse. You instantly feel that the owner of this place is well off. I'd say. Alright, let's examine some of the stuff here. One could admire the quality of this chair for hours and on end. Alright, let's do it. For the next hour, we're gonna stare at that chair. No, we're not. Let's see what that is. It's a magazine, but you really have no time to read it. No, you'd rather stare at the chair. It's a leather covered sofa. It's a bookshelf filled up with thick encyclopedias and books. Oh. Uh, it's a big, round, well-polished mirror. It's a photograph of a very stout-looking brunette. Mmm. Meow. On the back, you find an address, 520 South Kedzie in Chicago. Oh, we got another address to add to our list. Ooh, a chandelier. The chandelier matches the room nicely. Alright, let's see what the naked chick is here. There's nothing like a great work of art for inspiration. <laughs> okay, you call that art. Looks more like a centerfold to me. So I guess... I guess that's all there really was to do in here is to get that address. So I guess we're gonna go back down. Alright, now we are going to that address that we just got. Kedzi. Whoa. It's a bungalow. The garden has grown wild. Oh, I've never seen any of this in the game before. I must not have done very good when I played this a long time ago, because I don't remember any of this. I've always wanted to beat this game, though. I don't... Has anybody out there ever beaten this game without looking up, uh, like, a strategy guide or something? I don't think it's possible, because how would anybody know what to do? Because you have to follow all these steps. The door is locked, of course. Every door in this game is always locked. Alright, now for instance, what would you do if you're playing this game right now? Okay, pretend you're playing this game for the first time and you're here, and even if you played it before, maybe you didn't get this far. What would you do now? Would you give up and go back in the cab or what? 
I probably would, because the door's locked. I don't have a key. Maybe I would try the keys, but they wouldn't work. But watch what you have to do, all right? And I only know this because I read it in the in a guide. You use gun one, and you're gonna shoot the door. That's right. Boom! You pull out the gun, point it straight ahead, and pull the trigger. Blam! The lock is gone, so the door is now open. Now, who, see, I never would have thought of that, cause it, cause you didn't do that before in the game. It makes sense, don't get me wrong, but I just didn't think of doing that. All right. We are going inside the bu bungalow. I have I don't even know what a bungalow is. Is it like a cabin or something? You're inside the bungalow. You smell the strong odor of cheap perfume. Smell of wine and cheap perfume. Well, let's see what we got here. Examine the bed. The bed looks like an army cot. It seems to have been carefully made. Perhaps to help tidy up the place. Hmm. I wonder if that means someone's been here recently. It's a window. It's so grimy you can't see a thing through it. Ew. It's a slip of paper with three numbers on it. 33, 24, 36. Hmm. Sounds like a combination to me of some sort. So, what do I do? Take the paper, I guess. Take note three. Take note four. Take the earring. And I think we can open this up. Open the desk. We got keys and a diary. So let's take those. Genie's diary! Um, I think that's all. Let's let's examine everything we just grabbed now. What's for? It's a small piece of paper with the numbers 25, 3, and 45 on it. So that's more numbers. It's a gaudy pair of pearl earrings. I like the word gaudy. Yeah, it's a little gaudy. It's an unmarked key. Oh, we got a mystery key. It's a diary with the name Martha on it. There is a bookmark between the pages. Huh, open the diary. You open the book at the bookmarked page. All right, let's examine the bookmark. It's a bookmark with the initials JS imprinted on it. Has to be that seagull character. Well. Let's take the bookmark. I don't... Now what am I going to do with the bookmark? There's like so much crap I have. How am I carrying all this stuff? Alright, we're going back to the cab. I think that's all we can do there. Alright, we're going to Sherman Street now. Can't remember if I've been here. Have we? Is this where the office was? Oh yeah, yeah. This is where me and Lime were. Before. Um... Okay, now I know what to do now. Dr. Brody. Now I'm going to use those keys that I have now. See, it's all coming together, right? Slowly but surely. Click! The key worked! Alright, here we go. You're inside a doctor's office. There's nobody around. Perhaps you should wait for a nurse. What? Why would I do that? I'm not gonna... I don't want to turn and cough. Look at all the medicine things up here. The Bizodium Medicine Vial Bottle. It's the Bicarbon Medicine. I don't... I don't know how to pronounce any of these off real. Are these real medicines? Medrazine. Champagne. Champagne Supernova! It is the Tsunothol medicine. Medrazine. That, that must be a popular one. 
Alright, I think you get the picture here. There's a lot of drugs here.